What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is the Neobot Q11 Robotic Vacuum Slash Mop. And the reason why we are working on this today is because it's not properly charging. It doesn't find its way back home to charge. And we're gonna try to troubleshoot that and fix it. I gave this unit away a couple weeks ago and it stopped working just last week. So hopefully I'll be able to fix it for them. All right, so Taking a look inside here, you can see the, these contacts to charge the robotic vacuum. They're spring-loaded, right? This one's fairly clean. Feels like it's working. This one feels like it's working. For some reason, there's burn marks on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's zoom in so you can take a look. For some reason, there's burn marks, and I don't know why it's getting that. I think it's this pad right here because when it charges, it charges this way. So it's gonna be, no, this, this, yeah, this pad right here, that's the contact. So looking at it really closely, there is some rust on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's turn the light this way. But there's a little like tiny bit of rust on the edge. It's really hard to see. Now I'll probably take a picture of it and see if I can show you. But this one looks good. And the only way it can get rust is if this container is too full, I guess, maybe. Maybe it, it was too full and it started leaking. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and empty it out and see if it, that's the case. So the water goes in here, right? So if, I guess if there's a little bit of water spillage right here and it drips over top onto that pad, that could cause an issue. As you guys know, when there's electronic or electricity and two metal pads and there's water in between that, it can cause arcing and you can get um, a burn marks. So that could cause scorching on the pad, the charging pad, creating a barrier preventing it from charging. That's my logical guess. So I've got my negative lead on the left side, my positive lead on the right side. And it looks like we're getting 23.9 and it's steady. So the charging pads should be charging the unit no problem. And when I flip it, it's negative 23.9. So the right pad is the positive of the charge. It's working and it should be charging. And it's probably because of a bad contact. So let's take a look over here. The charging pads are on this dock. I cleaned out the unit, it's all dry. Well, not the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the, the outside right here. Make sure everything's clean. And if this does fix it, then we know what to do to prevent it from happening again simply fill it up 25% of the way with water instead of overfilling it and then making sure it's completely dry on the outside right here so it doesn't get wet on the charging pad. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get some electronic spray. All right, and we're gonna spray it up. I'll do both pads, might as well, right? go there we go let's do this one this is non-conductive electronic spray by the way so you can have the charging dock plugged in but of course it's always best to have everything unplugged when anytime you work on electronics not coming off. Okay, let's try something else. I don't like using a steel brush, but in this case we may have to.
All right, so using my meter, put it in DC volts, and let's see what it reads. So obviously you're not gonna get any voltage off of these terminals right here because the charging dock does the charging and has the 24 volts, charges the robotic vacuum, so you should get zero voltage right here. Even in AC volts, you're gonna get zero volts, okay? And put it in diode mode, and you should get a reading in diode mode though. 0.6, yeah, 0 0.6 is uh, the reading on diode mode, and that's the voltage drop. So that's good. So if you reverse that, it's gonna read OL, just like a diode. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Now, what does it read when you unplug it? So when you unplug it, now there's the circuit's not going through there, right? So now you're reading OL this way, and then reverse the leads in your reading OL again because you unplugged it from the circuit. So the reason why I'm showing you this is showing you how to troubleshoot a robotic vacuum. Um, the reason why it's not charging, whatnot. So if you're getting OL open loop this way and an open loop this way, well, some people say open line, but it means the same thing. That means your connection from the container to the robotic vacuum is broken or not connecting properly. So here's other charging pads right here. There's a charging pad right here, as you can see. So you would want to check that and make sure that's clean. And then inside of the robotic vacuum, check that charging pad as well. So once you plug it in, okay, and then you go ahead and check it. We're reading a 0 0.6 voltage drop, and that is good, right? And OL the other way, so that's good. So that lets you know that it should be charging. The robotic vacuum should be charging. If it's charging, let's go ahead. So it should find its way back to the dock. So yeah, the, you see the LED lights? A digital camera will pick up the LED lights, letting you know that the infrared sensors are working. So that's how it's finding its way back home. You see these lights that flash, and I guess the dock is the receiver, and those LED lights inside the unit behind that tinted glass right here, that is the transmitter. So, so now it finds its way back home. It's gonna go ahead, hopefully charge. Oh, it lit up right here. Test it a few times just to be sure that it's working. Charging. Yep, it says charging. So, this is really great news. We fixed the unit, now I can drop it off to the owner. And hopefully he'll be happy and not have, not have any more issues whatsoever. And hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has a robotic vacuum slash mop that this video may help in the future, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them. Help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks guys for watching.